Hey everybody, Phil, Boat RX. I wanted to give you a real world example of battery powered air conditioning on our latest project, the Juno 440. Um, this is a perfect night to do it because it is a hot and sticky Chesapeake Bay night. I should pull up my weather app here. It's 89 degrees right now and it's 7 p.m. Uh, and just like you'd expect, we've got a nice thunderstorm about to roll over us. So we're gonna make this a little bit quick. Uh, I've got the shore power breaker off. Pull out our shore cord. And then let's go inside. And again, real world, we, maybe we just came back from a sail. We motored to our mooring. Um, we have partial charge in our batteries. And we're gonna set up our air conditioning like we're gonna be going to bed soon. Got the lightning. <laughs> <laughs> This is a three cabin boat, sorry, two, two sleeping cabins, a salon. So we have three air handlers. Um, so what I'm gonna do for power efficiency is I'm gonna set the um, 78 in the main salon because nobody's gonna be occupied, occupying the main salon. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to my units and do my forward cabin. And this is already at 72. Um, I like to sleep a little colder actually, I like to put it at 70, and aft cabin also at 70. Okay, cool. Great. Um, we've had the hatches open for a while, so the actual um, inside temperature is still in the high 70s, so it still has a bit of a cool down to do, so we are stressing the system a little bit. Um, we're drawing about 1400 watts right now. And we have, let that hide. We have 79% uh, batteries, so we're not even starting with, with full batteries. Um, so let's check back in the morning and see how we do. Oh, and I want to you know, pretend we're going to bed, right? So close the doors. Turn out the lights. <laughs> All right, good night everybody, we'll see you in the morning. All right, it's the morning, it's about 8 a.m. I was up here early, but Lexi, you're a lay riser, so <laughs> let's go check it out, see where we're at. Forty-four percent. Forty-four percent battery. And then if we go here and we check out our 48 volt battery monitor, we can actually see that at this rate of discharge, uh, we can go for another seven hours, which is uh, pretty awesome. So, if you recall, we started at I actually can't remember 70 something percent battery last yeah, night. Or 70 something. So we weren't fully charged. Um, this goes to show that the total power usage of the boat is very little once it's cooled and maintained and there's no solar load. So, Also, you can see here on our compressor um, air conditioning display, where it says compressor speed, you can see we're spinning at 19% speed. Um, so that time to go calculation is based on, uh, it's, not like the, it's not like it's off. Um, so that's pretty cool. Now, I just wanted to kind of give everybody a demo if we just imagine that we were uh, maybe on the hook or on a mooring overnight, use our air conditioning to stay comfortable. Uh, now we wake up in the morning, like what's our routine? We're, we're, our battery is down at 44%. Um, and when I get up, I don't know, I might want to make coffee. I might want to have some hot water for a shower. Uh, so the natural thing to do would be to start the engine. And when we do that, we'll get the hot water and we'll get all the surplus power and then that integral is gonna kick in and start doing some rapid charging. Um, and I'm just thinking about what my morning routine might be. Uh, I would probably also turn on the air conditioning here, lower the temperature here in the salon now that we're, we're up. So it was at 78 overnight. Let's put it down to 72. We can leave the sleeping cabins at, at 70 if we want. But we're up, so let's open them. It's nice and cool in here. 
can actually feel the, the cold air kind of washing into the salon now that I open these doors. I feel it on my feet. Yeah. Everybody's up, even the kids. <laughs> Same thing, I feel that cool air, which is really nice. All right, so because we called for more cooling, we're probably gonna see uh, over the next few minutes that compressor speed might kick in, start to bring that salon back to temperature. And while we, we'll see the, the load on the AC side, we're only at 900 watts now, we'll see that start to go up as we uh, cool this space. And we got the hatch open. Now I'm gonna start the engine, and we're gonna show the, demonstrate the performance of the integral as it recharges the battery bank really quickly. Love to see it. Okay. Start it up. And I'm going to rev us up to uh, 1500. There's 12. you can see our compressor speed is coming up uh, slowly as it's starting to cool down this cabin and you can see our total load on the air conditioning system is starting to climb up so we're maintaining at 900 watts overnight but this we're going to see uh, start to rise as we cool the rest of the boat down and as the sun comes up and now we expect that that's going to drop a little bit as it starts to heat up So you have a net um, charging power of 6,300 watts uh, going into the batteries with another 1,100 watts getting used by the air conditioning. We're charging at 117 amps at 48 volts. We consumed overnight and yesterday 224 amp hours. So let's just do a quick 224 divided by 117 means we're going to charge the batteries back to full in 1.9 hours of engine runtime.